Hey kids, Miss Wagner here again with some more math. Um, we are closing in on our math unit on telling time. Uh, a couple more lessons for you. Um, so today we're going to do a kind of fun one where we get to draw a clock. And um, so let's read the objective together. I can draw a clock and tell time to the nearest five minutes. Um, you guys are doing an amazing job. Keep it up. You are awesome. Good job working hard. All right. Um, so let's read our EQs together. How do you tell time? How do you write time? And how to do you draw, draw a clock? Okay, so um, you're going to need a few materials for this lesson. You need to pause my video and grab a pencil and a paper. Go ahead and pause me now. I'll be waiting. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> Magic of video. All right, guys, um, we're going to draw a clock together, and hopefully um, I've been having tech issues when I'm trying to make my face bigger, so hopefully, oh, voila, it worked. <laughs> Not already do this like three times. <laughs> All right, guys, so um, um, you've got your paper, you've got your um, pencil. I'm using a marker so you can see it better, but I'd rather use a pencil because um, it is a little bit tricky, so the placement of those numbers can be difficult. So. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to draw, and I've got my paper going this direction instead of horizontal, up vertical, okay? So um, what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and um, draw a big circle. We're going to fill this clock the entire paper, boys and girls, the entire paper. Now, it doesn't have to be perfect. Mine kind of looks like an egg, and that's okay. <laughs> All right, guys, so once you've got your circle, I'll wait for just a second, and I'll continue to talk while you draw that. <laughs> um, and we're going to draw our numbers, but we're going to write our numbers in there a certain way. Now, we don't want to put all of our, we don't want to start our numbers and just keep going right here, because then we're not going to have them in the right place on the clock. So what we're going to do is we're going to divide our clock into four sections. One, two, three, four. We're going to make those quarter marks, okay? Just like thinking of um, when we were doing fractions, where we cut it this way and we cut it this way, um, we're going to do the same thing. Now, let me show you how we're going to draw those numbers. So the first number we're going to do at the top, what's the number on the top? Perfect, 12. So that goes up here, like so. Then um, we are going to do the bottom with the halfway point of the clock. You should remember this from when we did telling time and words just yesterday and the day before. <laughs> so that would be right here, six. Okay. Now we're gonna go down to the, the first quarter mark, which would be the three. And then we're gonna go right here across from the three is gonna be your nine. So right now we only have Four numbers on the clock, but it's perfect. That's exactly what we want right now. So if you need to pause the video, go ahead and do that. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and move on. If you need more time, just pause the video. And beauty of video, you can pause me. <laughs> Only time in your life you can pause me. <laughs> All right, guys. So, um, so we have 12. What comes after 12 on the clock? 13? 14? 15? No, why? So we're going to start, we have two numbers that go here. Look, one, two, and then three. So we want to space them out nicely. So um, see evenly here. One and two right there. Okay, again, it does not have to be perfect. I could have put my two a little bit up here, and that's why you're going to use a pencil in case you don't like how it looks. And I'm going to put a little mark everywhere that I put the hour, okay? One, two, three. Then four and five, we need four and five. So I'm gonna put four here and I'm gonna put five here. And I'm putting one of these little marks, they're called tick marks, right here. Okay, and then we have two numbers that are gonna go in between here. Six, seven, eight. Seven, eight. Like so. Wow. Then again, we have two numbers that are gonna go in between here. Nine, then comes ten and 11. Okay, so now your number should be pretty well spaced, and that's the way that I do it when I draw the clock every time. I do 12, 6, 3, and 9, 
and then they go through and fill out the other numbers. And then when you read your clock, you should see all of your numbers starting at one here and going all the way around and ending at 12. Now you want to make sure you may want to count those 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Just in case you wrote a number twice, you can always go back and erase because you have a pencil. All right, guys, um, and then right in the middle of the clock, we're going to just draw a little circle. And that's where we can draw our, um, our hands, our hour hand, and our minute hand. So I'm just going to, on this big clock, I'm just going to write one time, and then we're going to do a couple practice ones where you get to write the mini clock. So you're going to end up making four clocks today, and by the end of the video, you're going to have your challenge for math done for today, so you'll be already done. Isn't that amazing? So, oh, that's amazing, Ms. McGuire. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to have us do, um, let's do um, two... Four. Oh, <laughs> two forty. So our when we do our clock, we're gonna make sure that we have our hour hand first. So two, and our hand is the small one. So make sure your at your hand is smaller. Two forty. So to get to that forty, we're gonna count five. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Let me show you a cool, quick way to do it too. Remember that if you're at six at halfway, this is halfway through the clock and that means 30 minutes. If you already know that the six is 30, you just count on 30, 35, 40. So you don't have to count all of the numbers. Might be a little trick to help you go a little bit quicker on counting. So I'm gonna start here because I know that's 30. 30, 35, 40. So right here, I'm gonna bring my minute hand almost touching that eight because I want to make sure that you know that's the minute hand, that's the longer hand. And of course, it's not perfectly straight because Miss McGuire's not perfect. Nobody's perfect. And that's okay. So there you have it, a clock. Now, um, we're going to go ahead and do some more and we're going to draw some times. But first, we need to fold our paper into four um, sections. We're going to fold it into quarters. Do you remember that? Please tell me you do. That was our last unit. Fractions. So you're going to fold it in half like this, and then you're going to fold it in half one more time and watch what you get. You get one of those little book things, okay? Then you're going to open up this little um, square, rectangle you've got there, and you have four boxes. Amazing! Four quarters. One, two, three, four. All right, guys, so um, I want you to be able to see those, so I'm going to draw along the creases so that you can see the quarters of my paper a little bit better. Now we're going to draw four clocks, so we're going to do one at a time, okay? So, um, and if I go too fast, always just pause the video, and I'm going to turn my paper so it is vertical again, okay? So, I'm going to draw that clock circle, okay? And I'm going to fill the entire box with it. And then I'm going to fill in my 12, my 6, my 3, and 9. Okay, first 12, 6, 3, 9. And then I can go ahead and fill in those next two numbers all around the clock, starting at 12. What comes after 12? 13? No, not on the clock. <laughs> 1, okay. So I'm going to do one here, and I just like to write my numbers and then draw the little tick mark. Do you remember those tick marks? Um, then I need four and five. And then I need, after six, comes seven and eight. And then after nine, we have ten and eleven. And then we're done with our clock, and we draw the little dot in the middle that we can put our hands on. Okay, guys, so on our, over here, it says to draw, draw the time, 420. So, we're going to do the hour hand first, which is that 4. We just draw it directly pointing to that 4. And it's the little one, okay? Then we're going to do the minutes, which is 20 minutes. So, let's count, starting at 1, count by 5. 5, 10, 15, 20. Oh, it's on the same one, so it's a little bit tricky when that happens. 
So you're just going to extend that line further down into the four. It looks kind of funny, but they're landing on the same number. How cool is that? All right, guys, so we're going to go on to our next one. So we get to draw another clock. Drawing clocks is amazing. <laughs> All right, so this time we're going to draw 655. So let's go ahead and draw that clock on your next box. So again, I'm starting with 12, then I'm going to 3, then I'm going to 6, and 9. I'm drawing each of the quarter marks of the clock. Then I'm going through and I'm drawing those rest of the rest of the numbers. So I have one and two. I'm drawing my little marks here. Then I have three, four, and five. Then I have six, seven, and eight. And then I have nine. Ten, I have ten and eleven. Remember, we stopped the clock at twelve. There are no more numbers after twelve on a clock. All right, let's put our little dot in the middle for our hands and again draw the time 6.55. So our hour hand is on the big. Okay, make sure that's the little one. And then our minute hand is on 55. So let's count and I'm going to do the fast way of counting. Um, so I'm going to start at 6 because I know it's 30 and I'm just going to count on. I'm going to say count on, easy way. Right, let's turn on. Here we go. Five, uh, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. That way I didn't have to start one and go all the way around because I already knew that six meant 30 minutes. Um, so I'm going to draw that all the way close to that 11. Ooh. And if you make a mistake, that's okay because you guys have a pencil you can erase. Beauty of pencils. Um, so this is B. This would be 6.55. All right, guys, let's move on. Let's do another one. So this time we're going to make 12 o'clock. Okay. Remember that zero, zero in our digital clock means o'clock. We don't say 12, zero, zero. We say 12 o'clock. I was making another clock. So go ahead and draw it. You guys are going to be experts by now. All right, so we got 12. We have 6. We have 3. We have 9. Put our little tick marks in there. And then... We're going to draw those missing numbers 12. So we're going to go one, two, then we're going to three, four, five. Oh, paper's moving there. And I'm going to draw the tick marks as I go along here. Then six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, and then in the middle, I've got my little dot that holds those hands, and this dot represents that little screw in the middle of the clock that actually does hold the hands. <laughs> okay, so um, a drawing 12 o'clock. So we know the hour is already at 12. It tells us that when we look at that digital clock there. 12. Now, o'clock, where is the zero start on the clock? Way up here, look. This means zero, zero on the top of the 12. Okay, because we're starting five right here. So we're gonna just extend that line up to the 12, 12 o'clock. So they are on the same, they're in the same position, so to the hour hand and the minute hand. It's kind of like this one we did with 420. And if you guys want to do a little digital clock in the middle, you can do that too. So I'm actually going to do add those so that you remember. And then I'm going to draw 12 o'clock down here. And if you want to make it fancy and have pretty colors, decorations on your clock, totally fine too. I'm going to draw a little smiley face on my clock. <laughs> it's an emoji clock. All right, guys, we got one more to do. Um, let's move on. Okay, this one says 9.05. So let's go ahead and do the first step, which is to draw the clock. <laughs> All right, so we just draw a circle. Does it have to be perfect? No, it doesn't because mistakes are okay. All right, guys, we're going to go here. 12, then 6, then 3, then 9. And then we're going to fill in the missing numbers. Oh, got my little marks here. And then we're going to go 1, 2. Then we're going to go 4, 5, 7, 8. 
and 10, 11. And here's what it looks like. I'm going to zoom in there for you. All right, guys. And then we've got a little screw in the middle. <laughs> All right. So 905. I want you to try this one first before I do it with you. Try it on your own. You've got it. All right, guys. Pause me if you need more time on that. Um, I'm going to start to draw. Here we go. So the hour hand, it says nine. Point that little hand to nine. That's the hour hand. Now the big hand, which is the minute hand, is going to be pointing to one. Point that. And that one's going to be longer. Okay. So 905 looks like this. Nine, pointing at the nine. Oh, five up here. Now I'm going to draw my digital clock in the middle here. Remember with the, um, so this, Remember those math words that we talked about last week? So remember, this is our digital clock right here that shows the numbers. Um, usually, usually alarm clocks or watches, like my watch right here is a digital clock, a uh, digital watch. Um, this clock on the outside that we're learning to draw today is the analog clock. Okay. So um, you guys are amazing. That was the last one. So um, we actually were able to finish your challenge with me today. Um, how cool is this? Oh, that is All right, guys. Um, so if you want, go ahead and post a picture on Dojo. Let me see your cool clock. You can do both sides if you want or just one side. Totally up to you. Um, I would love to see your beautiful clocks. Um, and you can even, yeah, like I said, decorate them, add little pictures in them. Because clocks are all different kinds. There's so many cool different kinds of clocks. All right. Um, and Oliver, this. Uh, Minecraft is for you, dedicated to you, and Heidi and Lindsay, because I know you guys like Minecraft too. <laughs> um, you guys did an awesome job today. Um, thanks for sticking with me on drawing this clock. I hope you had fun, and just keep drawing. You're amazing, um, and we will see you back tomorrow. Bye, guys.